GM, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are taking a look at staking the DYM Dimension token. Going to go through the following, how to maybe procure some DYM. If you've got it on Cosmos, how to bridge it across different chains on the IBC. We're then going to swap it on Osmosis. So we're going to take some funds in dollars on Osmosis and swap them into Dimension. And then from a Dimension Hub, stake the tokens. Also show you how to stake them on the Kepler wallet itself, if you prefer that method, it's the exact same thing. And then we'll finish up talking about airdrops here with the testnet and mainnet now live. So if that sounds good to you and you'd like to learn a bit more about how to do things here in crypto, make sure you do subscribe to the channel and we'll jump straight on in. So the Dimension token will be listed here on Kajira very soon. I do have liquidity on Kajira as I love Kajira and what it does. If you don't know about Kajira, check out some of my previous videos on my channel, but you can see this pool is being set up currently. So in my Kepler wallet, I have some dollars good to go. I'll just pull up my Kepler wallet for you. So that is an extension on my Chrome browser here. It's the best wallet on Cosmos. You can see we've got some dollars here on Kajira. I've got them on a different IBC chain, Axelar also. So let's jump over to the best bridging interface in my humble opinion, which is here, Satellite by Axelar. So all you have to do, and I'll leave the link to that bridge down below for you to bookmark yourself. Select the chain you are on, the IBC Cosmos based chain. So I've got some funds on Kajira. I want to move them over to the Osmosis DEX because there's good liquidity on the Osmosis DEX right now for Dimension. So you can see I've got 59 bucks in my wallet. If I click on max, and then this will receive me the same token but on Osmosis. So from Kajira to Osmosis. Destination address on Osmosis. If I click fill with Kepler here, it's going to pull up my address on the Osmosis chain here for that Kepler wallet. So say you go to Osmosis and you log in, in the top right hand corner, just above here, it will quote your address up there. So just make sure that that is the exact same one that gets filled in here, it will be. And then all you need to do is accept this 20 cents gas cost. I'm gonna pay a little bit of Kuji in gas as well as that is the gas token on this network. Click generate deposit address. And then it's going to ask me to send the funds from the Kepler wallet. So deposit address has been created. Send from Kepler is the next step. And as you can see in the Kepler wallet, just got to confirm that approval there. Small transaction fee of less than two cents. This is taking a clip of just 20 cents. Click approve and let it work its magic. It often does come up with some weird little invalid string to a top right hand corner somewhere up here. Just ignore that and give it away for maybe about 30 to 60 seconds. So again, I'll leave this link down below. It is just for your Kepler wallet dashboards. And so on here, I've got favorited a load of the chains I'm using quite frequently. And we just bridged some funds to Osmosis, which I've neatly got as a favorite on here. So if we just click on Osmosis, from here, you'll be able to find the Explorer to your wallet specifically. We'll open that up. And on there, you can see Axelar USDC, 59 bucks, has now been deposited to my account. Alternatively, if you just wait on the Osmosis page here and you've got the correct USDC up that you've just bridged, it will eventually show as your available balance on here as well. Let me just pull myself down as we do a quick swap. So the swapping interface on Osmosis is super neat. This is kind of the main liquidity hub on Cosmos and it allows you to actually swap between coins on different chains. So if I just pull up Dimension, so select token, DYM is the ticker and it states Dimension Hub. So what this is stating for me now is I'm going to transfer these coins, USDC, Axelar from Osmosis and swap them into Dimension. I'm going to swap my dollars for 8.8 .8 Dime, click swap and then approve that in wallet. Transaction successful now stated top right hand corner. So we have some dimension on Osmosis here. If we go to assets and you go into your drop down, you can see the dimension is here. Click on withdraw and we want to move them from Osmosis directly to a dimension hub. On my wallet here, I need to connect to dimension. So this is going to provide me with my dimension address connected to my Kepler wallets. We're going to do the max amount here and withdraw DYM and then approve that transaction in the wallet. I'm paying a small gas fee in Osmo. So do bear in mind, you will need gas on networks to do the movements and then press approve and transaction has been successfully done. So we're going to refresh 
our Kepler dashboard here for dimension. And the balance is now updated. So I've got just over 10 as I had a little bit on there already. So this is the dimension hub on the Kepler dashboard and you can stake directly from here alternatively from the portal. So on my Dimension main app, you just go to staking here and from the staking tab, you can see your balances on here. This is the amount I've currently got staked. This is the amount non-staked that I wish to stake. And this is the validator I am staking with after some consideration around the commission they were taking, looking into them a bit more and stuff. Pokachu is just outside of a top 10 by amount of DYM state. So I was happy with these guys. So you would select your validator from the stack in here. And then as you can see, I've already started to stake with these guys. So to stake more, I just click the word stake. It does tell you that these funds will be locked for 21 days at a minimum. So this means if you wish to unstake, you won't be able to get them back liquid in your wallet for 21 whole days. So that is pretty standard across the cosmos. And I'm going to stake all of these. Likewise, I could do the exact same feature here on the Kepler dashboard. So it doesn't really matter where you are. Almost a very similar UI as well. You can see if I just click into these guys and stake, this would do the exact same thing. Press max again. And 10.29 dimension tokens would be staked via this method or this method. Doesn't really matter which one you choose. It's the same damn thing. You will see different wallet labels. So on the Kepler wallet, you'll have a Dimension token address starting with DYM. Over on Dimension directly, you may have a 0x wallet, which you can see top right hand corner there. So this is the kind of EVM equivalent wallet for Dimension, but it is the same wallet. It's just showing on two different type of networks. So either which way you want to do this through Kepler or through Dimension directly here, we'll just follow through the steps, stake, do the max, stake, pay a small transaction fee and approve that in the wallet there. So that has just gone through successfully. My staked amount has now gone up to 122DYM. If I go back to Kepler here on the Kepler dashboard and I refresh this, you'll see that this will go down and this will go up. And voila, so there you go, showing the exact same balances as per the Dimension Portal. So it doesn't really matter where you do this. A lot of people being pushed into this, but if you're just using Kepler anyway, I would highly suggest just using it through Kepler and getting used to the route that suits you best. This is better due to the fact it has all the different chains you're operating on. So for example, if I want to go to Celestia, stake some more tier tokens, I can do that directly from here as well. Just super, super easy to use. The final thing to mention, why are people staking these tokens and why is it number go up technology? Well, due to the fact on testnet for Dimension, as you saw, Rollapse 1,135 listed out of 14,000 deployed. So if on testnet 14, almost 15,000 different Rollapse decided to deploy on there, maybe not all of them are going to make them directly to mainnet quickly. Maybe over time, say 75% do. Even if 10,000 of these roll apps make it to mainnet, which you can see currently none are currently deployed, we're waiting for the first one. If each and every one of them is to airdrop some of their native tokens to the DYM stakers, which they are incentivized to do so, to be honest with you, because Dimension itself is the hub of liquidity for all those roll apps. And to incentivize people to use those roll apps, I believe they will need to give them some tokens. Well, you can imagine, even if you made just 10 bucks off each of these new roll apps deploying, a thousand times 10 is 10,000 bucks. Not sure on the minimum amount required to hit the quota to actually get airdrops, but I would imagine if you're staking at least like $100 plus, you're going to register for some form of minimum criteria on a roll app that decides to do an airdrop. And then the token price, of DYM, I guess, once we start to see some airdrops actually come through, it's likely that that starts to increase. There is a finite supply within kind of the first 12 months of Dimension. Check out my full tokenomics breakdown. I'll leave it at the end of this video. So there's not gonna be a lot of inflation of tokens. And so if you have anything that spurs on more demand for this token, which would be some helicopter money flying down and dropping on people's heads, well then the dime token is likely to appreciate in price. So I think this is a very good risk to reward play. It makes a lot of sense to have at least some allocation over here. It doesn't have to be a huge amount, but you do not wanna be feeling the FOMO if people start bragging about, look what I got from the Dimension airdrops. 
So I hope you enjoyed this one. Check out the video popping up on your screen right now. See you in the next one. Subscribe if you're new. Peace.